Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create this look, working with foils, balayage, and working with our Studio Stylus Express to create a shadowed root. I'm going to start with the sectioning. It's really important to remember to keep your sectioning very clean. We have the fringe area of the head sectioned out. We have the top area of the head. We have both sides. The back or occipital. I'm not going to be clipping the nape area of the head today because it is a little bit shorter. So I'll be able to just go through and apply my foils wherever I want to see them. So now I'm going to start with my foil and I'm really going to be focusing through the front hairline, working from the sides into the fringe, and then just applying a few through the top just to get those brighter pops throughout. Because my client has finer hair, I've chosen to work with Simply Blonde Beyond Bond with Dual Bond Technology. This really helps to ensure that the hair stays in really good condition, especially around this hairline, where hair can be a little bit more fragile. Now I've applied three back-to-back -back fine woven highlights all around the hairline. Now I'm gonna go through and place some diagonal foils just through the top of the head. By doing a diagonal placement, it gives you the most coverage with the least amount of foils. Now that I've finished my foil application, I'm gonna go back through and create some balayage pieces throughout just to create that brightness on the ends. First be working in between my foils and then working from the front to the back to ensure that I get that brightness around the face and more depth through the back. So now that I've completed the right side, I'm gonna move on to the left, doing the same exact thing, working in about one inch subsection. So keeping that section pretty large, keeping a lot of natural in there. Here you can see the results of the foiling and balayage that I did on my client. I let her process for about 45 minutes and then shampooed and toned with our beige rapid toner, which you can see created this beautiful, natural looking result. My next step is going to be creating a shadow root. As you can see with my client, I took the highlights all the way up to the scalp here. So now I wanna create that shadow root using Studio Stylus Express, just to give that grown and lived in look. I'm gonna be applying this in four quadrants today and I'm gonna be starting in the nape and working my way to the crown. So I'm going to outline my section just on the lower area and then work from the bottom to the top. If you apply in the traditional way of working from the top to the bottom, sometimes when you lay your subsections over onto another section, you could get some spotting. I'm choosing to work with Studio Stylus Express today really because of that processing time, but also the outstanding coverage and shine that I get from the product itself. Today, the formula I'm working with is two parts of 7N and one part of 7G. I do wanna see some warmth, so that's why I'm choosing to work with the 7G, but I wanna make sure that it still plays off of the tones that I have going in the hair now. So that's my reason for using two parts of our 7N. One thing to remember when creating a shadow root is to not create too hard of a line. I'm allowing the bristles to pull some of that color through to create almost like a natural looking low light. Now that I've finished my back quadrants, it's time to move on to the front. So I'm gonna work vertically, taking subsections, pulling them over the back sections, and then applying my color to the surface. Once I get to about an inch behind the hairline, I'm gonna jump over to the other side, finish the application up to this point, and then I'll do the hairline last just to make sure that that stays nice and bright. So now that I've applied my shadow root from about an inch back from the hairline, laid all the hair back, now I wanna come in and do the hairline. I'm gonna be working with a clean brush and making sure that I only tap that root so that I do see more blonde around the face. The consistency of Studio Stylus Express makes it really easy to do a fast application. 
Now that I've applied this shadow root, I'm gonna allow it to process for 10 minutes and then she'll be ready to shampoo. I've just gotten back from shampooing and conditioning after my shadow root with Studio Stylist Express. And even though it's still wet, you can already see this beautiful hue that's starting. I'm now gonna work with Volume Mousse Extra and a round brush with a twist out method to give just a lot of texture, body, and movement into the hair. It's always important to remember that when you've applied product, you wanna make sure that you have a really good even distribution. So it's always a good idea to work with the wide side of a comb and just comb all the way through the damp hair and make sure that product is perfectly saturated from root through I hope you enjoyed this video today, learning how to create this look working with foils, balayage, and Studio Stylist Express for a shadow root. Make sure to join us in the future for more educational content.